I have not cleaned my print head on maybe three or four days. So today is the fourth day. Yeah. So today I'm cleaning the print head. What we're going to do is go to our icon on the right side on the bottom of your screen if you are in Windows and you're going to have your Epson printer over there just right click and you're going to go to printer settings and in this uh, window that just opened you're going to go to maintenance and over here you can do a nozzle check at head cleaning print head alignment and you know or even power ink flush so this is for take out all the the ink from the system so we just turn on our printer so we're going to do first a head cle uh, head cleaning it's telling you that you need to have your tank open so we already got it open we're going to click start okay so basically this what he's doing just cleaning the head flushing some inks and you know using the wiper to make sure that everything is fine so it's going to take just a little bit to uh, do this and after this you can do a nozzle check to see if you got all the lines uh, from the inks Obviously, you are not going to see the white line. So I go to recommend to get some type or black paper or color paper. So you can print the nozzle check and then you can see the white lines because the white line is the most important in this uh, process of the DTF because it's what is going to put your base for the color so you can press on dark shirts so this is a cleaning solution for print heads uh this one is my my dtg uh, cleaning solution so i can use in the same system so i can clean my my head all right so we just waiting for the process to finish you're going to hear your printer making uh, noise, so just wait until that finish. And also, you're going to see the green light blinking. That that means it's a, in a standby. So when that finish, it's supposed to be solid green. And after that, we can do our the nozzle check. So let's wait here. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, try to cut you from something that you maybe need to see all right so you just finished uh, print head cleaning so now we're going to tell the printer to print nozzle check pattern you're going to see uh, this so just hit print and you're going to see this and it's telling you that if you see all the lines is good and if you see like missing spaces uh you need more pre uh, cleaning so here is the paper that you're going to get from the printer you're going to see uh the blacks and over here is the black as you can see we got almost all the lines so we're missing a few sp uh, spaces so we can do a second cleaning uh you got all the reds and all the blues you see so the yellow is really hard to see because it is a white paper so if you use some type of paper that is uh, maybe black or like a dark color you're going to be able to see the yellow one and also the white so it's important that you see the white so you can uh, see the lines so also if you got uh, some type of uh, transparency with you you can use that to see the white
Okay, guys, so we're printing here our second um, nozzle check. So this time I'm using a sheet that we use for transfer. So let's check it out on the white ink. So let me see if I can see it clearly. So as you can see, um, the black one finally got all the lines. I'm not sure you capturing that. Also, you can see here the this channel for the white, it got all the lines, but we got one channel here that need more maintenance. So we we can do another cleaning and you can clean that white line over there. Okay. But this is how you check your uh do the nozzle check and make sure that everything's fine. So basically what I did it just cut half of the paper that we used to print the designs but instead of using the the part that is coat uh that in this part is that we we print but the other one is more shiny so we i print this on the shiny part also let me see um yeah i'm, I'm not sure if you can see the yellow the yellow over there but i can see it from here but the camera is not capturing that but I can see that it got all the lines right now all right so after you finish your date or you finish printing uh, what you're going to do is um, power off your printer then you go to power on and when you see that the print has start moving, you know, start moving just like this a little bit, you got to have your hand over here. And when you start pulling this side, you got to see that it's like loose. So at that moment, you're going to disconnect the power. So that's going to lose uh, the print head. And then you're going to be able to move the print head all the way. Okay. So we got printer loose. Okay, so now we are going to remove the dampers and we're going to put cleaning solution. Um, you want to do this at least maybe um, two times per week, but if you're not sure or you're afraid that your printer is going to be clogged or something like that, um, the recommendation for DTG printers is that you clean your print head every day after use so because i don't want to tell you something and then you're going to have any type of problem i just going to go with the recommendation that is right now on the market so go ahead and clean your print head um, every day and that way you make sure that you don't have any type of problem now according to the manufacturers um the DTF ink is supposed to be thinner in, you know, in, in, it's a, like a new formula, it's thinner and everything. And it's not supposed to clog the print head as it does with the DTG inks. But you know that even with the regular inks that any printer, you know, out there, and if you don't use it for at least one week or two weeks or whatever, depending how much time you're going to have the, the printer off the inks can get dry or even the print head can get dry and you know you're going to have issues so now what you're going to do is just grab a napkin um you're going to you know fold it at least in three ways and if you can see you got to put it all the way side And you can put it under this bar over here and then what you want to do is you know press a little bit and then start moving your print head just a little bit just slow and your ink lines got to be here 
just a little bit. Okay, and what you're going to have is on your pin head completely under the napkin. And you can pull the napkin there. Now you can lose your uh, dumpers. Just make sure. I lost mine already, but there's going to be a click. So if you want to make sure, just use something. See how they're popping up. Lose that. And then you can remove your dampers. And if, if you got a gloves, just gloves. It's, it's recommended for, for do this type of work. All right, so you can put your dampers on the side all right, so I got my rubber over here. So just put it here so that way you can hold it. Put it on the side. And at, that, at this point, um, you you can get, you know, cleaning solution for DTG is going to help. So because it's ink. So the important is that destroy any ink that is inside the print head. Um, if you already got a DTG, you should already have a cleaning solution because you need it for your for your system. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So you're going to get cleaning solution. And you're going to stick it right here. In the nozzle, and you're going to push. Okay. So you can see the syringe is going all the way down. It's really smooth, it's really easy. So that means that that channel is not clogged. Okay. So let me grab a napkin so I can clean, can clean that really quick. Right. So also a good idea if you get some um, cotton swab for for cleaning because then anything exits so you can clean easy. So if you already got a DTG, you're supposed to have these two. If you're getting into DTF system, I recommend that at least you get all supplies to have it with you. That way you're not going to have any type of problem or need something, you know, that that you're going to need at the moment. So let's go and do the next channel. It's going to be this one. And again, as you can see, all is going through really smooth. You're going to be able to hear like a sound because it's coming on the bottom. So here, what you're doing, basically you are flushing the printhead. You're getting all the ink out. So that should be fine at this point. Then you're going to have over here on the right side, you're going to have your copy station. This one over here. You can put, you know, a little bit cleaning solution. So when you finish, just put back your pin head to the right side and the print is going to be resting on that solution. And that's it.
I mean, at this point, after you clean all the channels and you do that, you're going to be good for the day. And the next day, you're going to do a head, uh, print head cleaning, uh, nozzle check, make sure that you got all the lines and everything. And then, you know, start your normal printing as you usually do. So as you can see, DTF is basically, you know, most of the of the steps for cleaning basically are DTG um, basics cleaning. So let's take this out so we can get the dampers. And if you see something here, you can use it. Then let me show you how you can clean this with a cotton swab. What you can do is just go around the nozzles. Okay. Also, you can do that for your um, wiper over here. You know, time to time, it's good to have this wiper uh, clean. Now, um, you can put your dampers back again. So don't let, don't leave your um, your print head like this you know over here you have to be all the way there so let's put all the dumpers back okay so we got cyan magenta we got white Got white again. You got black. And you got yellow. And you can see the yellow is gone. So at this moment, what you can do is just grab a syringe for the yellow one and just pull all that. Okay, so we got the yellow one, it's good. Okay. Let's push this over here. To this side. Let's put all the lines in their places. your stripe you pr that protect this over here so you're going to have one here one here one here and you see you can see the holes so you can see these holes over here got it and then you're going to pull and you're going to see that it's going to lock over here just make sure that part is, is locked grab your um, cover and put it on top all right and then you can do this you can do a piece of tape if you're going to you know be working with that part over here taking off and out uh, this is a screw that i just leave it there so i know where is it but i never screwed this to be honest 
I always leave it like this. So, all right. So your system is back. So now what we're going to do is turn the printer on the next morning and just do um, our normally normally routine. You know, make sure that. All right, guys. So that's it. You know, that was the the maintenance to do. You know, to the print head, uh, the cleaning part, and everything. So it's really easy. So that's it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much. Again, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. So until the next one.